All right, hello and welcome to uh, the tier list ranking of uh, the major biomes in Mine up to Minecraft 1.16. Uh, now, I'm going to start off right away by saying if you've seen me speedrun on stream, or I might have talked about it in some of my other videos, you know very well that I hate this biome right here, Soul Sand Valley. I hate it. It's terrible, and I'm so I'm gonna try my my best to not um not be biased uh with it. Uh, so yeah, throughout the video I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to be biased about about that biome. So let's uh start off mm, with the first biome, shall we? Uh, so on the list we have um I believe it to be uh, the Mesa Plateau. And I'm going to be ranking these both on uh, looks and functionality. So I think, I mean, it's bland. There's trees, so I guess it's somewhat functional in the grand scheme of things. But it, 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 I think it deserves a C tier. It's not that good. It's kind of a terrible biome. I mean, it's just flat clay with some trees on it. Now, moving on. We have the uh, the Mesa biome, which I it's it's a beautiful biome. It's so nice to look at, um, but functionally it's not that good. So, uh, with that being said, I think uh, I think it can sit comfortably at B. It's definitely better than the uh, the plateaus, but um, functionally it it can't. Any, I don't think it should go any higher than than B. Now, here we have um, the bamboo forests in the jungles with the pandas. And these are nice looking biomes, but, and I guess functionally, I mean, they're good for scaffolding, so that's something to consider. Uh, the pandas are useless, literally. I don't know why they're in the game. Um, they, or I don't know why they don't have a function in the game, rather. Um, so. I, th I think this can also sit comfortably at B tier. Now, here we have another terrible biome from the nether. We have the uh, the basalt delta, or uh, the tiny one-block holes into certain death, uh, as we like to call it. Uh, that one can uh, that one can go down here. It, it serves no purpose. There's magma slimes. It's just it's ugly. I mean, the atmosphere is cool. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah, it's it's down here, but it's 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 below this one. Uh, the the, the who, he who shall not be named. Biome. Uh, I believe this is birch birch forest. Is this tall? Hmm. This is birch forest hills. So um, I mean it's a. It's a middle class biome. I mean, it's not that nothing special. Birch birch trees are nice, but I uh, nothing to write home about for sure. Uh, so that one that one's in B for sure. Here's an interesting one, because this one is very utilitarian. If you get this in a speed run and you have the gold already, you can trade the piglins. If you need food, you can uh, attack the hoglins. And um, there's wood. You can find the wood here. Uh, in case you don't have any. I mean, you could survive in this biome. So, I think with that being said, um, as a biome goes, it looks good. It, it has many functions. I think this has got to be the first A-tier biome. Because uh, it's just... Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's functional and it looks good. So, I think uh, I think it deserves a, the first A-tier. Uh, and then here we have uh, the roofed forests, or as I always call them, the dark oak forests, because that's what they are. Um, I I don't know. This one's tricky. Because dark oak on a whole, as a whole, I like it. I like the block. I like the texture. But the forests themselves are nightmares to traverse, at least at night. So many things spawn. And... Even with the woodland mansions, they're not good. 
Woodland mansions are not good. The only things you can really get from them are totems and emeralds. Other than that, there's not really any reason to go there. So I think with that being said, I kind of have to also put this in B. No, I'm going to put it in C tier. It's not that good of a biome. The only thing going for it is the, is the dark oak. Uh, now, on to everyone's favorite bland biome. Uh, the desert. I mean, it's a desert. I mean, the only good thing from a desert, at least in speedrunning standpoint, in any standpoint, is the lava pool. You can get to the nether. Or, I guess, all right, desert temples. Desert temples are useful. They can have some really good stuff in them. So I won't I won't be too harsh on it. Um but I'm still going to be pretty harsh and I'm going to put it in C. Cuz I mean it's a desert. I mean it it doesn't there's not really many cool generations possible for it. It's if if you've seen one desert, you've likely seen them all basically. All right. Uh moving on, we have a very cool biome. Uh, used to be called um, the Mesa Spikes, now known as the Eroded Badlands, I believe. Uh, this is an awesome looking biome. Again, functionally, it's not that good, but it, it looks so cool. I mean, you, you feel like you're in the Wild West. I mean, look at that. That is so cool. You've got the uh, different strata of uh, of rock layers, and it's just so cool. So, um, I think, I think. A healthy a healthy B for this biome just because of the looks I mean utilitarian no but awesome looking for sure and it's hard to tell but I'm pretty sure this is the flower fields yeah this is the flower fields I mean it, it's a forest biome you can pretty much find any anything you want in this biome you've got the wood uh, grass gravel uh, sand water stone and uh, it's got some cool generations possible. Some really cool generations possible. So uh, I, th I think this is another A tier. I mean, and especially with the flowers, it it's a pretty awesome looking biome. And uh, it serves a lot of purposes. All right, so here we go. To and then next we have just the bland forest. So this is, e this is an easy B, B tier. I mean, it's a forest. Again, once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Kind uh, so yeah, then yeah, it would go C then. Because it's kind of along the same... I hate to do it to the, to the classic biomes, but... I mean, if we're ranking the biomes, I have to be just for them, you know? Alright. Uh, next up, we have the Frozen Ocean. Uh, now, there are a few things I'm going to use for this one. Uh, from my personal history exploring this biome i've seen like shipwrecks encased in the ice and i found a lot of cool um ocean monuments underneath the ice and it just looks awesome this is a cool looking biome and um for survival purposes making an ice boat road for anyone who knows who knows what that is uh this is a great biome to find uh when you're trying to build an ice boat road so uh, i think uh for that it's got to be a b I mean, it's not an A tier. I mean, it's cool, but it's not awesome. Speaking of awesome, arguably, I mean, like I said, I'm gonna try not, to be, not try not to be biased, but this is probably my favorite biome, just to build in. Maybe not to look at, but to build in, is the the Mega Taiga biome. It's just awesome. I mean, these trees are huge, and you've got the, the podzel and the mossy cobblestone randomly generated. This is just an awesome biome. Like, if you want to build a log cabin, you build it in this biome. I mean, these are, it's just, it's just really cool generation. Um, and you can find, like, yeah, mossy cobblestone. Like, this is the, this is the best place in the game to find mossy cobblestone. One of the only places in the game to find mossy cobblestone. So for building and utilitarian purposes, it's very good. Uh, only place you can get podzel as well. So this is an easy A tier for me. Like, it's it's pushing S. I'll be honest. It's pushing S. But it's not, not quite there. 
Okay. Moving on, we have the um, the Ice Spikes biome. A relatively rare biome, uh, but a cool one at that. I mean, the snow biomes are kind of not that great. Not that great to look at. Uh, until you find an Ice Spikes biome. I mean, it's it's unlike any other biome you'll find. It's just super cool. And, like, imagine you could build that. You could make that little thing into a tower and, like, survive in it. Try and survive in the Ice Spikes. I mean, it's a cool biome. Uh, but, again, I don't think it deserves an A. I mean, I think I think this is another B tier. If, 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 ah, uh, it's hard because the only thing it has going for it is its looks. But I, I, I did that kind of with the, uh, the Mesa, the eroded Badlands. So I'm going to do it with that. Uh, I'm going to put that in uh, B tier as well. And here we have a uh, plain old generic jungle. Been in the game since 1.8 back in the heyday. And, um... A nightmare to traverse, kind of ugly wood, um, a okay place to build. I mean, it's, it, and then the jungle temple is probably the most useless structure in the game. Like, I I, I have to put this in D tier. It's it's not a good biome. I I I'd put it above um. Wait, so, yeah, all right, so we're going to go worst, this is, all right, so this is worst, yeah, worst to best. No, sorry, best to worst in, like, in, like, this, I don't know, I mean, it's a D tier, okay, it's not that good, it's, it's kind of shit. Uh, here we have a war motion, and, um, not... Not really anything going for it. It does not have magma ravines, so it's not ideal for speedrunning or anything like that. Uh, it can generate shipwrecks, but other than that, it's not that good. Um, and it's just sand. Uh, there's not really any cool uh, geographical features that can occur with it. I mean, it's just kind of not a good biome. So, again, I think I'm just going to shove it in D. It's not good at all. Now, here's a tricky one and a controversial one. The mushroom biome, or the mushroom biome, whatever the heck it's called, specifically. One of the rarest biomes, like generic biomes that you can find. And it, it's pretty cool. It's pretty, it's it's like it's like the, the unicorn. Like, when you find it, you're like, oh, hey, look at that, that's crazy. It's a mushroom biome. Um, and the mushrooms are cool, it's the only place the mushrooms can spawn. But other than that, I mean, it's just a cool biome. So why, while some people might put it in A or S, I mean, I I kind of have to put it in, um, I think, B. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's special, but, uh, all right, all right. I'll put it in A. I'll put it in A. It's a low A for me, a low A. Keep that in mind, low A. All right, now here we have just the generic nether. This has just been in the game since the game was a thing. This is just the nether. And, I mean, it's the nether. There's not, there's some okay, cool generation, but there's nothing crazy that you'll see uh, generating in this biome. Um, it's kind of just... Again, I hate to do it. It's just bland. I mean, it's an old biome. It hasn't been changed much uh, besides the netherrack texture um, a couple of years ago. But other than that, it hasn't really changed much since the uh, since the beginning. So I'm going to... I'll stick it in C. I mean, it's not... It's nothing special. And uh, this picture is kind of hard to tell, but I believe this is a cold ocean. And from the utilitarian standpoint, this is an amazing biome. You, you've got the possibility of shipwrecks. You've got the possibility of ruined nether portals. You've got the possibility 
of ocean monuments, magma ravines spawn here. It's just, I mean, in, in speedrunning standpoints, and I mean, in certain survival standpoints, it's the creme de la creme. I mean, this is a, this is an A tier biome without a doubt. I don't know why I placed it there, but whatever. I mean, this is a great biome. And I mean, it, it looks okay. It, it's cool. You can find some cool generation. I mean, it's deep, which is cool because oceans used to be not deep, you know? Moving on, we have the plains biome. And basically, the only thing this biome has going for it is villages. Uh, I mean, it's a cool place to build. It's nice and open, so it, it looks good. I'll give it that. Um, and it can spawn villages, and it's really good for spawning villages. So um, I think uh, with that in mind, uh, it should be a B for sure. Not an A. Certainly not an A. But uh, definitely a B. And now we move on to uh, the Savannah Biome. Which, again, not that special. Uh, once you see in one, you've probably seen most of them. Except for the odd case of having a cool plateau with like a river intertwining between two um, uh, opposing peaks. Which is pretty, pretty sick when it happens, but kind of rare. Um, the acacia wood is very nice. I'll, I will be honest, the acacia wood is very nice. Um, it's a cool biome. But, um, again, nothing too special. So, uh, another B tier, I believe. Now, here we have something special. We have the Shattered Savannah Biome. Possibly the coolest natural generation, random, whatever you number generated biome that you can find. I mean, it is so cool. The different kinds of Shattered Savannas you can find. And flying around these things with an elytra is one of the coolest freaking things. It's just awesome. I mean, this is an amazing biome. And it's got the acacia wood. I mean, I remember I remember the first time I ever found one of these. Just randomly on, on my friend's realm. I was looking for the stronghold with my friend. And we came across this biome. And I was like just floored i had no idea this existed i took a break from minecraft for a while and i came back and i was playing and i just found this biome and i was just awestruck and i think it easily deserves an s tier it's such a it's such a cool biome it, there's nothing else like it terrain generation wise in minecraft and uh for that reason i think it deserves s uh, so moving on from the uh, the first S tier biome of the of the ranking, we have um, the outer islands uh, of the end biome, where you can find um, the end cities and uh, inside the end cities shulker boxes and elytras. And for that reason, right there, the two things I just said shulker boxes and elytras this this is a this is an a this is an S tier. Those are two of the most game changing things. Minecraft's ever had. Shulker boxes change the game. Elytras change the game. I mean, the biome's okay looking, but from a survival utilitar utilitarian standpoint, this is probably one of the best biomes there there is. So it's an easy S tier. Uh, moving on, we have uh, the snow covered taiga. Uh, I like taiga biomes. They're they're cool. Uh, Snow-covered ones, you can find the Arctic foxes, which is pretty awesome, even though they serve, like, no purpose. You can tame them, but it takes so much effort, and you can't, like, do anything with them. So, uh, it's a B-tier biome. It's not, it's nothing special. Similarly, similarly to this, uh, the snow-covered plains biome. You can find villages in it, but, um, other than that, it's, um... It's just kind of bland. So, I mean, it's it's below the taiga, in my opinion. It's not good. It's a C tier, for sure. And possibly the worst overworld biome in the game 
I think the only biome I've never built anything in, I don't think I've ever built a structure in this biome, is the swamp biome. Uh, so this is, I mean, it's a D tier. There's no, no debating it. It's the worst of the worst for overworld biomes. Um, and here we have a non-snow-covered taiga, so just a, a plain old taiga. Uh, another great place to build a cabin. It's a cool place to look around. I mean, it's cinematic. It's it's a cool-looking biome, uh, but it's not anything special besides the uh, amazing spruce wood that it has to offer. Uh, so I think it's another B. And here we have just the end. The end of the game. Where you fight the Ender Dragon, the, the the culmination to Minecraft. I mean, I'd be a fool not to put this in S tier, dude. It's it's the final battle. It's the end of the game. And it's just the biome the biome is the end. And it's just awesome. So uh, another another S tier for that one. Uh, and here we have Coral Reefs as the third to last biome on the list. It's a great biome. Uh, there's like t over 2,000 variants of the tropical fish you can find. So if you're a collector, this is like just the biome for you. If you want to just collect all 2,000 plus tropical fish variations, then this is your biome. I mean, it's a cool biome. The coral reef, I wish the generation was different and it's kind of weird looking not really coral reefy but it's a pretty biome it's cool the fish the fish make it in my opinion if there were no fish in here this biome would be subpar but with all the fish swimming around and the bright colored coral and the tropical water it's a great biome i think it's an i think it's an a tier uh it's a really cool biome uh on to the uh warped forest uh in the nether our final nether biome. Um, this one's tricky. I don't know where to put this one right away. I've been pretty confident with all my other ones, but uh, this one I'm not sure. I mean, it's an okay biome. I don't think the wood is that great to use. I like the crimson wood. I mean, it's kind of pinkish more than crimson, but it's still nice to use. Uh, the blue is... I mean, I guess it could be nice for like certain roofs. And it can spawn Endermen, which is either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on your uh, your purpose. I think it's a B-tier biome. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't have a major purpose, but it has a purpose. I mean, you can get cool wood from it, and Endermen spawn there. So I think uh, I think a B for sure. It's it, it's approaching C. It's a very low B. I'll I'll, I'll put it that way. Ah, the mountains. Now, I'm sure once the mountains get updated in 1.17 that this is going to change my uh, my viewpoint of the mountains. Um, but they're not that special. I mean, there's some cool generation possible, especially coastal mountains that I've been like, whoa, that's a cool mountain. But other than that, I mean, they're mountains. They haven't done much with them in ages, years, until, I mean, 1.17 is coming out. So they'll be revamping them, which I'm excited for. But um, I think since there are so many different biome mountain variants... And there's some really cool ones in there, like jungle mountains. Jungle mountains are so cool, and mountainous taigas are so cool. I think it's a low A. I think I'm happy with that. The only, the only thing I'm questioning is if I didn't add enough to the S tier. I I, I really want to add this to S tier just because it's my favorite biome. But like I said, I'm not going to be uh to b be biased to anything uh nothing at all so i think that's uh i think that's my list um 
I want to know down in the comments if you agree with me, uh, if you disagree with me, and um, what you would put in S tier uh, that I didn't or that I uh, or you think I should have. Uh, so with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tier list. Let me know if you want to see any other tier list in the future. I mean, it doesn't have to be Minecraft. It could be literally anything. Just uh, uh, drop a comment down below. I'm always looking for new uh, new suggestions. Speaking of that, this was suggested by my friend. Uh, the credit for this idea goes to him. And uh, this was not my, um, my tier list. This was someone else's in the community. Uh, just putting that out there. Uh, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Have a wonderful day, evening, whatever. Tell your family you love them, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.